All right, I thought uh, real quick here we would take a look at these uh, aftermarket uh, LED upgrades for my pick'em up truck. I'm going to install these into a 2013 F-150, and uh, just thought we'd go over it real quick. Um, I did my homework on this. This is supposedly what my truck takes, um, an H-13 uh, or a uh, 9008. Uh, I hope they fit. Um, yeah, I hope nobody lied to me. Uh, you get some things and stuff in the box. You get something that, like that, and uh, you get the uh, basic LEDs here. They look uh, quite nice to me. I mean, if you if you ask me, and uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I don't see anything to complain about here. The build quality feels good. I mean, hopefully they uh, they last. Hopefully they do exactly what they said on the tin. But we're going to test it out and find out. There's a little fan back here. I, I noticed that. Um, hopefully, you know, well, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't get packed with dirt and debris and, you know, ultimately fail. But uh, hmm, I don't know. Time will tell and we shall see. And one of my lights just died. Yeehaw. It's going to be one of those videos. I can see. I can tell already. <laughs> All right. So uh, there's one and here's the other. You know, you get your lights in the, the box. You get uh, the uh, get out of jail free card. <laughs> no, it's a, a a thing. If you want, uh, I don't know you, you get options here. You can get free stuff. One, two, or three different options there to choose from for you know free stuff. And uh, you get your uh, can't see what's inside of me. You know, safety proof bag or or privacy bag thing. You get. Uh, couple of zip ties and uh, instructions and uh, some sticky uh, double-sided uh, sticky tape for the uh, main drivers there and yeah that's what you get in the box so uh, enough of that let's go put this thing in the uh, old pick up truck out there and see what they do uh, upon quick inspection here I don't know but uh, the way it appears to me anyway um, there's only uh, a screw there well bolt bolt and uh, one down in there and it looks like the uh, whole headlight assembly will just pop right out um, I hope that's the case because that's what I'm about to try otherwise there ain't no getting back there I gotta pull the battery out and here on the uh, driver's side um, you know I'd have to pull the air box out to get back in there so the easiest thing to do, if that's even a, a valid option, is to remove three bolts there and, yeah, just pop the headlight out. Um, I am concerned about alignment, but uh, it looks like, anyway, from what I've seen back in there, it looks like it, it kind of fits right into pegs, so it should be self-aligned. Anywho, I'm going to give that a shot real quick. I'm not going to bore you to death with this. Uh, I'll just show you more when there's more to show. And yes, indeed, boys and girls, that's all there was to it. Uh, three, uh, three bolts, and it took me a minute to uh, figure this side out. It was uh, kind of stuck in there. See on the end here. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. There's a uh, those little spring clips right there. Uh, I mean, it, it gave, it was, you know, wiggling all over the place. You know, it didn't feel like it was a bolt or anything like that holding it in there. You just got to pull, you know, good and straight on it. And, uh, yeah, then those things let go. But, uh, so, yeah, that is uh, that is how it's done. Now I know, now you know. <laughs> I, I really didn't know, but that's the way it looked to me. Anywho, I'm going to get a little further into this and show you more when there's more to show. Already, that uh, that is not so bad at all. You uh, uh, twist like hell on this, and uh, that pops right out. And sure enough, eh, sure enough, you can't read it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's an H13. Somewhere up in there, it'll say it. I don't know. Can you? Is the camera focus? Uh, probably not. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. H13 looks right to me. Set that uh, somewhere where it's definitely going to fall off and hit the ground, and uh, yeah, take the new one and um, stick her in the hole.
like so and twist until it hurts <clears throat> like that and sure enough boys and girls that is basically it wow yeah put a and b together right like that now uh, i'm going to nice and neatly uh decide where i'm going to fasten this stuff together i haven't decided yet but when i do i'll uh, i'll tune you back in then but uh yeah basically hey it doesn't get much easier than that uh, just gotta fasten this so it ain't flopping around and yeah all right um i'll uh, i'll show you more when there's more to show Alrighty, real quick here. I thought I'd just mention uh, this uh, connector here. Wow, that uh, that goes together tight. I could not do it by hand. Uh, what I would recommend is get yourself a Q-tip here and uh, some some of my favorite stuff, some dielectric grease. Smear the inside of this black connector and then pack the electrical terminals on this uh, whatever gray slash tan connector here. Um, it electrically insulates and isolates and protects uh, from corrosion and all that stuff. But it also provides a little bit of lubrication. And then I still had to, I didn't, I, didn't, I couldn't do it by hand. I still had to do, you know, a couple pairs of channel locks, you know, something like, something like that. And just slowly but surely, you know, just gently squeeze it together and rock it a little bit side to side until it finally went click. And, uh, you know, that, uh, that tab then finally popped up and leveled off and now it's in there. But, uh, before, and I've decided what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to use the uh, double-sided sticky pads and I'm going to, you know, clean up a spot. I'm going to put it right there, I think. It, uh, it makes perfect sense and then I just nicely, neatly zip tie these together. But uh, before you commit to something like that and make it somewhat permanent, better to uh, power them on. And <laughs> I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, but uh, as a low beam, go check your high beam. You know, make sure it works before you commit. So. Uh, that's all I'm doing right now, and I'm going to set that up, tune it up, and zip tie it up, and uh, we'll get back to it then. And that is about the name of the game. I'm, that's what I've decided on, that's how I'm doing it, and I think that's uh, pretty okay. The uh, sticky tape, I mean, that's it's on there, it ain't going nowhere. Got the two zip ties on her, you know, that connection is on her, good, solid. Um, yeah, ain't nothing to her, but... Uh, but, uh, well, yeah, fill that hole back in with some plastic and uh, wait till nighttime to try these things out. So I'm not going to bore you with the other side. I mean, you've seen you've seen enough of this side. You know all about it. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we'll just stop here and check back in later on tonight when I can put these things to the test. I do have a before uh, video, so uh, th there will be a before and after. So, uh, all right, we'll uh, we'll get to that when uh, well, when we get to it. All right, it's uh, before and after time, show and tell. What I thought I'd do here real quick is show and tell a little bit of video here, uh, low beam and then high beam. And uh, then I moved to a different location. Uh, I'm trying to do, uh, you know, honest and, and fair back to back, side to side, you know, side by side comparisons here as best I can. And, uh, you know, I thought, uh, the best way I can think to do that is a little bit of video and then back it up with uh, some some still pictures and we'll get to that uh, well, coming soon but this is the second spot where you know I do a little, do a little low and high beam and then we uh, quickly but surely uh, we move along to the uh, the new ones and note the difference yeah something like that Pretty much the same spot. Another low and high beam test here, and scoot along up the road here. Coming soon, coming soon. And going, going, going. Not yet going. <laughs> yeah. I like these lights. This uh, this made a nice, nice in improvement, a, a, a nice difference. Um, not as bright as I thought it was going to be. You know, I guess when this stuff is coming at you, it looks a little different. But uh, from the driver's seat, this looks beautiful. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. A little low and high beam test there, and uh, yeah, then we'll just uh, we'll do a, some still shots here. Just uh, 
a better you know side by side comparison I think camera's not shaking and uh, yeah that uh, that's about that alrighty then I think uh, we've all seen pretty much what we needed to see um, before and after side by side and uh, yeah I'll tell you what um, for the money excellent I mean this is uh, <laughs> quite excellent now I'm one of those guys yeah <laughs> you know what I mean <clears throat> uh, yeah well is what it is everybody else does it to me now I can do it back to them <laughs> I, I, it's not as uh, bad at least from the driver's seat as what I thought it was going to be um, it's just a really nice bright white light uh, yeah quite happy now uh, I would uh, suggest uh, do like I and uh, save your old bulbs my uh, original bulbs there was nothing wrong with them so hey uh, I'll save them for a rainy day and uh, the instruction stuff there I'll put it all back together in the original box and don't forget your uh, free stuff here you can either get a uh, well, whatever a $20 value of 50% off promo code or a uh, uh, what is that headlight restoration kit or a digital tire pressure gauge at least in this offer your offer may be different I don't know but uh, and and you get a uh, extra uh, one-year warranty if you if you fill this thing out so um, yeah it's I would say that's worth worth a little bit of time and effort and signing up for whatever you got to do there and get her done all right that finishes off this uh, video review uh, hope you liked it I I had fun doing it it, it went beautifully i think uh, this was this was almost perfectly designed for my truck uh, you saw the before and after so uh, you see the results there and uh, good job guys i like this i like it like that <laughs>